Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. Today, we're jumping into the full game and taking a look at the full car list for Forza Horizon 4. So, feel free to pause this video at any point to take a closer look at the car's prices, their stats, their rarity levels, anything and everything, basically. So, I did want to point out some of the more notable things on this list and why you might be noticing that a couple cars are actually missing from this list. So, let's take a look. The first thing you'll probably notice is that cars like the Cadillac Limo, the Nissan R34, and etc. are not on this list. Well, that's because a lot of the cars in this game are actually locked down to either doing missions in this game uh, for certain characters. I'm not going to spoil exactly what, but they, they are locked down to certain people. There are also cars that are locked down for certain skill levels. So, you guys already know if you played the demo... When you jump into the game, you have different levels for either dirt racing, road racing, street racing, and so on. So some of those levels, when you get to the next one, your prize won't just be more races, it will actually be another car. So you can see right here, I'm level I think like 4 or 5 um, in, the, in the street racing series, and if I do the next race, I will actually get a Nissan R34, which is very, very cool. But we'll continue to scroll through this list, I, I just wanted to make that clear as to why certain cars are not on this list so do not be worried if you would like to check out the full list of cars um there will be a link in the description down below and i i suggest you guys check it out if you would like to see the proper full list i should say this is the full list of purchasable cars in forza horizon 4 because these are everything that you can buy of course there's also like your forza editions in forza horizon 4 they're no longer called horizon editions they are forza edition cars We've also got uh, the barn finds, which of course you can't go and purchase. You have to go and find them in their barns. So these are all of the cars that you can actually buy. Anyways, I should probably talk about some of the things that are going on on screen as we're scrolling through. So, off to the left hand side is all of the information about these cars. You've of course got your manufacturer, and if you actually take your right stick and you uh, turn it to the left or right, You'll actually see what class the car is in, like if it's like a street racer car, or a Forza whatever, or like a GP car, or whatever. Whatever type of car that gets shown there. Under that, it actually has the rarity level, so there's Legendary, Epic, Common, and Rare, I believe. There's only four different levels, and for each of the different levels, you'll be getting a different uh, car collection score, which is actually quite cool. Below that... You have all your stats, so that's obviously the main thing that I know you guys want to see. Along with your PI, your drivetrain, and the price below that. Other than that, everything is pretty self-explanatory. When you're scrolling through the list of cars yourself, you'll see that there's a little yellow or blue or purple border around them. That signifies what rarity they are once again, which is, again, pretty cool. So... Some of the notable, noticeable car, or notable cars on this list. There is some pretty cool stuff. One, we already spoke about it, the Cadillac Limo is coming to Forza Horizon 4 for the very first time. It's been in Forza Motorsport games for quite a while now, but for the first time ever, it is coming to a Forza Horizon game, and that is super, super cool. We've also got actually something in Ford, that Ford Transit. I'm not going to spoil it, but there is a Forza edition from it, and if you have... VIP, you will see what I mean, because I will just say it has quite a unique body kit for the- I, I don't even know if you'd call it a bot. it's just- it's just cool, okay? Uh, if you- if you want to check it out, check out my Let's Play that I posted earlier today. That has everything you guys want to- want to know and stuff. We've, of course, got our Formula Drift cars in here as well, and you also might be wondering, well, hey, where are our James Bond cars? What's going on with those? Well, all of the James Bond cars are actually under their own manufacturer. I was expecting it to be like under Aston Martin and Jag and Citroen and so on, but they're actually all under the James Bond manufacturer in air quotes, if you can imagine that. The same thing goes for Hoonigan and the Formula Drift cars as you saw before. But uh, yeah, we've also got some other very, very cool cars. We've got the Mercedes Unimog, which is incredible. I will definitely be doing a car build on that thing. I didn't do it very early on in the game because although the car itself is only like a hundred and some K, there is some modifications for it that are extremely expensive. So just be aware of that if uh, if you do plan on purchasing that. There are those there are those James Bond cars for those of you who who were wondering. They are under the 007 brand, which is which is quite cool. I I really enjoy that. Anyways, uh, in case you guys didn't know, we're actually doing a giveaway 
for a copy of Forza Horizon 4 right now. So if you'd actually like to win a copy, you can enter at the description down below. There's a link down there and you can click it and enter. It's actually for a VIP copy uh, or the Ultimate Edition copy of Forza Horizon 4, which means it comes with VIP both expansion packs, the car pass, so you'll also be getting all of the DLC in Forza Horizon 4, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. So uh, if you'd like to enter that, there is a link down below. Anyways, we're getting into some more stuff here. This is when you'll start to notice that some cars are missing because I was scrolling through here and I'm like, where, where's the R34? Where's this? Where's that? But yeah, just be aware that there are a lot of cars that are actually locked down to the story mode in Forza Horizon 4. But do not worry, uh, the, the R34 is there, like I was saying, and the limo is there. You just need to go into the story mode and unlock them. You'll, of course, be able to find them in the auction house as well. I, I would imagine that people are going to be selling them. I've already been seeing people selling barn find cars, which is kind of strange because you only get one of them. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure if you, if you do not go in and play the entire story, you can find the cars in there as well, which is, which is another option for you. Anyways, now we'll get to some of the three-wheelers. We've, of course, got Morgan back for Forza Horizon 4, which is very, very cool. We've got the Morgan three-wheeler, which was in Forza Horizon 3. But we've also got one of my personal favorite cars made of wood, the Morgan Aero SS. I am super excited that that thing is back, and I cannot wait to drive it around. Speaking of things that are back, at the very start of this video, we passed Ascari, which is another car brand that is coming back for Forza Horizon 4. It, it was in, I believe the last time it was in a Forza game was probably Forza Horizon 1, way, way back in the day, but it's very nice to have Ascari back in Forza Horizon 4. Speaking of things coming back, we also have Porsche. There is no Porsche pack, there is no Porsche expansion, we have Porsche straight from the start, and there are some very, very cool things, like we've got the Pink Pig. That is a proper, like, Le Mans winning car. Did it ever race in Le Mans? It's a proper Le Mans racer. That's all you need to know. And it has a crazy, crazy V12. And actually, coming up in one of my Let's Play episodes, we swap the engine from what we think is the Pink Pig. We take the V12 from it. We swap it into, I'm not going to say what car just yet, but the thing revs to 11,000 RPM, which is kind of crazy. Anyways. We're coming to the end of this list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more. I've got a bunch of Forza Horizon 4 videos coming at you guys, so stay tuned for those. Look out for the Let's Play. That is continuing later today. Part 1 is already up on the channel. We've also got some car builds coming at you guys very, very soon. One later today is the Peel P50, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Be on the lookout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys soon with some more Horizon 4. I'll see you guys then. Bye!